So now you can see it's rotating on the C axis to make it that look kind of nice the way it's flying. So we're getting there. Add a little bit of more lag to our rotate C as well. Put this at 0 0.3 seconds as well. There we go. Gives it gives you a nice smooth feeling of your ship rather rather than a jumpy sort of like instantly reacting thing. So we've got um, our Oscar in node pretty much set up here to control the ship. What you can do as well, if you want to, is you can uh, you can chop export this same null that we used to rotate the C to our rotate Y to make our nose point towards the direction the ship is flying. But we'll do that quickly just to show you how. I, I didn't really like the look of it, so, so I took it off again, but I'll just quickly show you chop exporter. Just drag and drop this onto our rotate Y as well. Export chop, which then means the ship also kind of like it points its nose towards the, the direction it's tilting and flying towards. Uh, one way to get around this, because it, it's look maybe it's maybe it's it's rotating a bit too much now on the y axis, is to create another line of chop nodes uh, with with the same you know the same setup as these ones, but just um, lower uh, the math of the rotation a bit, so it so it doesn't point as much towards the direction you're flying. We'll just leave it at this for now though. So what I'll do now, I'll go in, just because our ship's looking a bit dull at the minute, it's just a, a grey polygonal mesh. And uh, and because we exported it as a DAE file, if I press enter on our geo node, we go in here, and then click on my ship node, press enter again to go into it, and then here's our basic polygon shape here, which, which I started up with, which was a P cube. So press enter here, and here is our, our shader, our material, which is a thong. And if I if I change this around a bit, if I up the shininess a bit, because it's it's black, but the shininess is a bit too it's a bit too much here, so if we bring that up a bit, it gives you a nice black shiny ship, which you can't really see so you, you could change that to any color you want, really. Maybe I'll I'll just make it a a dark grey, maybe like a little bit of a purple, dark purpley kind of like color or something. You can you can play around with this and just shade it whatever whichever way you want. Just just so that we can see it easier. I'll then uh, saturate the color a bit and. and Make it a bit lighter, so you can so you can see the ship a bit better here. So now you've got a nice purple interactive spaceship that you can fly around with, and it feels really nice to to move around because it's it's just so such a nice way to control it using the accelerometer in the phone because it uh, yeah feels nice. So what we'll do, just to finish things off, we'll press U to go up, to U again, U again, and this is our basic setup here. Michael and A also knocked up a quick, cheesy little soundtrack here that'll go well with our um, with our little uh, interactive spaceship. So I'm just going to drag this in. It'll come in as an audio in, uh, which is connected to an audio out note. That's our um, spaceship. Bring it up here so we can see it in a nice resolution. You.
yeah, so that's how you make a quick and easy interactive spaceship in touch designer. Thanks for watching.